Rocky one, those of you that are fans. Remember the cheap sweatpants he's wearing? He does a stretch on the stairs like this. He starts his first day of running. It's funny because I'm actually kind of nervous because <laughs> I know that today's going to be really hard and my fitness level sucks and my elbow sucks. Anyway, you know, uh, the change to do something new, although it's going to be hard, is better than the change to fucking stay the same, so that's why I'm here. Like I said, keeping it keto, keeping it real, and a little Chalua hot sauce on there. And um, we're gonna do a Chalua hot sauce giveaway. So the first person that can, first person in the comments below that puts that comments with my middle name, with just my middle name, not my full name, comments with just my middle name, I'm gonna send you Chalua hot sauce. <laughs> anyway, this is how we do it. We keep it keto. We got some sausage. We got an omelet right here. We're going to crack this baby open. It's got bacon. It's got cheese. It's got avocado. And then we need some vegetables. Just because, like mom said, right? Let me see that thing. You don't know what you're doing with it. I'll tell you. Aren't we supposed to go like this? Let's turn this thing around on this guy over here. Whoa, oh, I hit a button. What'd you do? What happened? The button in the middle? BSP? I don't know. BISP? You're know. probably fine. I think it's fine. It says it's recording. You're probably good. You look a lot better on camera than you do in real life. I'm looking at you here. Am I in focus? Or am I in focus? Yeah, you're in focus. I'm, I feel pretty focused. That makes one of us. So, is this your version of uh, the war? You're uh, assisting in eating yeah, all the carbohydrates. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yep. See, he's you gonna. Have, you have bread here. I'll take care of it for you. He's gonna eat all my leftover. Look at how blurry I just made that. That was not good. <laughs> all right, Chris here is a uh, graduate from uh, Pornhub.com. I mean uh, UC Davis. Nope. He's rocking the strong shirt today. He's looking all jacked. Yep. And uh, this is your first job out of college, right? My first job. And and you fucking hate every day of it. <laughs> So when I went into that newsstand years ago and, and told them that I have a magazine, I talked to the owner and uh, he started asking questions about powerlifting. I said, powerlifting, you know, it's uh, squat, bench, deadlift. He goes, oh yeah, yeah, I love watching that. He goes, I love watching powerlifting uh, every time the Olympics come around. I'm like, no, 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 it's not. It, I'm like, Olympic lifting is different. It's like you put shit over your head. And uh, I was like, no, it's not like that. It's 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 uh, squat, bench, deadlift. Then we got talking about it a little bit more. I'm explaining the magazine to him. I'm all excited. I'm trying to get him to get the magazine in the store. And he goes, I know what powerlifting is. He's like, that's when those guys have those. They carry those giant cylinders, and he's like, and they're they're picking up those giant ass like rocks and stuff. And I was like, no, no, no. I'm like, that's strong, man. He's like, okay, well, you got me. I don't know what powerlifting is. I said, nobody does, but. I still want you to carry the magazine, so he carried the magazine, so they got it right there at that uh, Davis newsstand. This is a great coffee place. 
But anyone who says that they actually like coffee, there's two things going on. Number one, number one, you're lying to yourself because coffee tastes disgusting. Give coffee to a six-year-old and see what happens. They're gonna spit it out all over the place. Number two is you might be putting a lot of stuff in it to make it no longer coffee. And another thing you gotta realize about coffee, especially when you drink fancy coffee like this, that you become in an exclusive club of the coffee drinking asshole club. <laughs> So that would be me. Bunch of coffee drinking assholes out there. Woo! It's got some kick to it. But I'm gonna need it. I gotta talk to Wade Nordstrom today. <laughs> or Lean Norton, rather. Mr. Bur Mr. Flexible Dieting. Coffee hits you right in the face, that's when you know it's good. <laughs> at all. So I actually uh, did a collaboration with a guy, it's not up yet, but uh, a fish, the most po popular fishing YouTube called uh, the guy named Black Tip H. And Black Tip. Black Tip H is hey now. Because uh, I'm not a hooligan. So we've talked about this topic, I think, before, but we we're, we're briefly talking about trolling. And, uh, you know, the question that a lot of people have for you is why do you continually feed the trolls? Feed the trolls? Well, if I didn't feed the trolls, what else would they have to do? <laughs> Turn it into a positive. So it's like uh, sticking up quotes in a locker room, the way a football yeah, coach yeah. does. You're like, yeah. I'm fucking making a mark on of that. Phone of <laughs> negative stuff people have said to me, you know. But yeah, just got done podcasting with Lane Norton and uh, heading to the uh, infamous uh, fuck your elbow um, appointment. I got it at 1:30. You guys can see the swelling. See how it's moving like that? Out here, not really any swelling. That's where the bone is. Right through here, there's a lot of swelling, so I don't know what he'll do. I've heard from some people, my good buddy Stone Cold Steve Austin, the Texas rattlesnake, <clears throat> he said at one point he just had his elbow drained and then he was fine. Um, so that would be great, but uh, I think there's something more going on with it. John Cena, name dropping by the way, uh, he tore his tricep and he had his tricep reattached by Dr. Andrews who works with all the WWE guys. And when he had his tricep reattached they went in and took out the bursa sac which I think is responsible for the swelling. Um, so maybe that's a possibility. I don't really know. Let's see what this guy says today. I don't think, unfortunately, uh, health issues can be annoying because it takes a long time to discover what's going on. So I don't think I'm going to get like real answers today, but hopefully I'll be a step closer towards finding some of those answers. Turn your hand palm down. Excellent. Palm up. Very good. I'm just going to check your nerves, spread your fingers apart, the ulnar nerve, give me an okay sign, like this. <laughs> That's a little hard for me. Median nerve, yeah. good. Cock your wrist up. Radial nerve, perfect. Good, good, good. So, you're going to like what I tell you. you you'll be very happy, in fact. <laughs> um, what you're describing is called an electronon bursitis. And think of the electronon bursa like um, the air safety bag of your elbow. So if you land or fall hard on your elbow, mm -hmm. this bursa normally sits there. It's like a, a silver dollar, but it's flat. Right. It's very, very quiet. But if you hit it or you do activities like mostly it's triceps curls that'll do that. And you get inflammation and it goes, it just right. expands. And draining it's the wrong thing to do. I'm picking up definitely on a physical exam, triceps pain, biceps pain and discomfort. We're right. going to scan both of those. 
see how much is intact, how much is partly torn. Okay. Give you a really good idea of how far you can push it. And we'll go okay. from there. That's the, what I need um, to know. <laughs> who, who did your uh, stem cell injections? Oh man, I I I had that done in Las Vegas, but uh, I, okay, okay. I can come up with all oh, that. That's okay. That, that's that's okay. Yep. Um, sit tight. Yep. yep. Next week. We go out to the Arnold Classic, and there's a fuck ton of shit to do out at the Arnold Classic um, seminar. Um, I'm going to check out, uh, well, I can't talk about that part. Uh, I'm doing a seminar at uh, Columbus Lifting Company. I'm also going to the NFL Hall of Fame. I'm going to Rogue Fitness and also Elite Fitness, along with doing the fucking Arnold for three days in a row. So I'm going to be put through the ringer, but I look forward to it because I enjoy it. I enjoy the process. I enjoy building fans. I enjoy building an audience, and I enjoy meeting all of you guys. So hopefully I'll get a chance to meet a lot of you, and uh, strength is never weakness, and I think that's it for me for today. That's all I got. Later.